All right, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Today we are out in the Fishaholic rig, gonna try and catch whatever is willing to bite, hopefully some stripers, black sea bass, or fluke, and uh, check out the new custom Fishaholic buckies that uh, I just got up on the site uh, a couple days ago. And uh, they come in this color here, white, a little bit of brown, pink on top. And uh, then we've got this olive over white color and they're hand tied by Big Bill's Bucktails and I have them up on the Fishaholic site. So if you're interested in picking up any uh, to help support the channel, I'll put the link down in the description. It really would mean the world to me. And I've only got a little bit in stock right now. So get them while you can. And also before I forget, finally the new Dark Matter Fishaholic Inshore Series spinning rod and surf series rods are gonna be available in a few days or a week's time, like really, really soon. And uh, if they're available now, by the time I make this video, I'll put a link down in the description. If not, just uh, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at Fishaholic Fishing, and, and follow uh, Jane H Tackle on Instagram so you're kept up to date for when uh, these new sticks are finally available for you guys to pick up. And I'm stoked to uh, see what you guys can catch on these for the remainder of the season and for many years to come. Uh, and I, I love these sticks. Uh, the inshore series and surf series rods were designed based on like my personal preference and an inshore and a surf rod. Uh, for like a lot of different applications of what I do in, in my everyday uh, fishing missions. And I just wanted to mention, today we're out here in the boat particularly because the last like two or three outings, two in the surf, one in the kayak, didn't really go so well. A lot of the baits uh, up shallow has kind of moved out and I think a lot of the fish have uh, followed it as well. So we're just gonna try and make something happen today, see if we can get some bass in the next like 30, 40 minutes, striped bass, and then maybe switch over to bottom fishing, see if we can get black sea bass or some fluke and just uh, get some fish on the deck. So let's make it happen. All right, well, we're gonna start off with this uh, pink over white, one ounce custom fishaholic bucktail with a little fat cow white trailer. And we're just gonna start casting over this high piece that's right out here in this rip. Like that way, it drops off to about 25, 30 feet. About a couple hundred yards that way, it drops off to like 25, 30 feet. But like right here, it comes up to like 18 to 20. And I'm just gonna get this bucky down to the bottom as we drift through. We're towards the uh, beginning of the outgoing tide. And I'm hoping that as we kind of drift out over the structure, we can just jig this bucktail right along the bottom and uh, get slammed by uh, some stripers. And we're using some lighter tackle today, 15 pound Green Moss Prowl Pro Braid, only a 30 pound floral leader, because I'm anticipating only like possibly some schoolies, small slot size fish in this spot. Big piece of kelp. Got the skunk out of the boat, sort of. <laughs> All right, well, this is our sixth drift, I would say, and still no bites after about like 30 minutes. And it looks like we're starting to finally get some good current flow. Like our drift is getting up around like two miles an hour. So I'm gonna try just vertical jigging this bucktail over the structure as we drift. I'll just snag the bottom there for a sec. But yeah, I wanna be down near the bottom and I wanna just pop it up aggressively, follow it back down, pop it up aggressively and follow it back down and not snag the bottom. And as we drift out, it'll come up and get shallower. So that's why I just have to pay attention to the sonar, make sure I'm bringing it up when I need to and dropping it down when I need to. Fish on. Finally, what do we got? Oh my God, a whole pack of stripers. Whole pack of stripers followed this one up. That was cool. Finally, whoo, just got the skunk out of the boat. Not a big in, but it's a start. Only took us about 45 minutes of jigging. But uh, finally now the tide is starting to flow and our drift is 
like two and a half, three miles an hour. So probably because we're getting a little bit more of a drift going. Finally, we had our first bite. So now we're gonna go back up and do that same drift again. See if we can get another. Another one. Woo! This might be a little bit better fish. Oh my gosh, a whole pack again followed this one up. Oh, I love that sound. Even when they're little fish, it still gets the heart pumping. There we go. That's a little bit better one right there. Fun stuff. And if you guys can kind of see here that it gets a little choppier here, but up ahead over like ahead of this, it's flat. So like right here is a high spot and this is like the main rip. And uh, these fish are sitting right on the rip. And uh, this one and the last one slurped up the new custom fishaholic bucky. Phew, beautiful fish. Let's see you, bud. cool thing about fishing this area too is it's not that deep so we can easily get this one ouncer down near the bottom right in the strike zone and then we just can focus on giving it the jig and making it look alive triggering these fish to eat it oh just got hit missed him There's another one. This one I had to cast up current and then I kind of just let it drift down and I was just jigging it along the bottom back to the boat. Oh man, real tiny guy, about the same size as the first one. But hey, it's action. And uh, the reason we're fishing this spot today, which is actually like pretty close to the inlet, I can see the inlet right now, is because uh, the tide isn't particularly right to make the longer run to the main rips or to go further for you know, the larger fish. And being that we didn't get out here till like 3.30, 4 p.m., I figured we'd just stay close to home and uh, see if we can get it done here and so far so good we're getting on a little bit of a bite i like it all right let's keep doing it let's see if we can find a slot like that i bet you that there's a slot size fish which is like 28 to 35 incher that could be here oh there's a bite Come on back, come on back, buddy. Oh, that one hammered it. That was a really awesome bite. Got some shoulders to him. Oh my gosh, see them all? Look at them all. There's probably like five or six more stripers coming up with them. That is <laughs> really cool to see. Like we've got some good life here. I'm loving it. There we go. Not a bad fish at all. Let's get a quick little measure on the deck at board. 
Wow, it's a 28 incher. Small slot right there. Heck yeah. See ya. Wow, that one was close to the surface right there. There's a good one. Whoa! <laughs> Lost them again. That looked like a another slot size fish too. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, baby. Give me a little ride here. Wow. It's a small one. He just really knew how to pull. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can catch one more. And then uh, I'm thinking actually about switching over to uh, see if we can get a, a fluke possibly for dinner. I mean, I'm getting hungry right now. My stomach is growling and a fresh fluke sounds really, really delicious right now. There's a bite. Oh, I just missed one. Ate it on the drop. There he is. Real subtle bite. I thought that last striper was gonna be the last striper of the evening, but we've gotta come back up and do one more drift because after we lost that last one that looked like a slot, like that's all I keep thinking about is possibly we can get one more slot before switching over and see if we can get a fluke for dinner. Damn, that was a really hard hit. Oh, wow. Just missed another one. Jeez, it's two in a row. Got him that time. Ah, real small one. We gotta do another drift. <laughs> I have like the worst last cast disease, but I just, you know, think that there's potential maybe like for something nicer. And that's why we're sticking it out just a little bit longer. Let's see what time it is. Seven o'clock, we got time. We have got time. That's a good one. Feels good at least. What do we got here? Yeah. Oh, a bluefish. Oh, no. Oh, all right, one more trip here. Dang. Oh, 
There's one. Don't tell me it's another bluefish. Oh my gosh, it's another bluefish. All right, well, I think it is time to switch gears. Unfortunately, we could not end that bite with uh, one more slot size bass, but uh, still, some good action, hot bite, only a mile and a half away from the inlet, you can't beat that. And being that it's like 7.30 right now, the sun just went behind the clouds, we're gonna race back towards the inlet, throw on a different bucktail with some gold, and uh, see if we can get a fluke or two. This should be good. Let's see if we can find some flukes. All right, I'm just gonna clip off the Fishaholic Custom. And I think I have a little half ounce bad fish bucktail in here somewhere. There we go. A perfect bite size morsel for a fluke. And then I've got these white little Berkeley Gulp grubs here. Perfect. Fish on. Definitely not a fluke. I think it's a sea robin. Oh no, it is a fluke. <laughs> this guy was fighting kind of weird. Hey, we got a fluke. Not a keeper, but hey, our targeted species. We'll give him a quick little measure. Bay's probably like 15 or 16. No, he's actually 17. So two more inches, it'd be a keeper. Not bad. Back down there, see if we can get another one. Oh, just missed one right there. I'm gonna drop it back down to him, see if I can get him to in eat it again. Got him. There he is. All right, pretty sweet. We're getting on a little fluke bite. That one looked a little bigger. Oh, just got hit hard. Come on back, come on back. Oh, we got him that time. I dropped it back a little bit. And he slurped it right up. Oh, it's a real tiny one. That's why we missed them the first time. Oh, just missed them. Another one. We're putting the hammer on them right now before dark. Oh, it's a sea robin, great. <laughs> Never mind. All right, well, that is about a wrap. I'm getting a little chilly out here. I'm starving, and we did two more drifts after the sea robin and uh, no other bites. So we are gonna wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys wanna help support the channel by picking up some of the custom Fishaholic Buckies, uh, please do so. That would mean the world to me. I'll put the links again down in the description below. And uh, until next time, like always, live to fish, fish to live.